Shenandoah National Park is home to over 300 different kinds of animals. If you've ever been here before, you've probably seen some of them. But there are also many animals that you may never see while exploring. Some are shy, staying far away from people. And others are nocturnal, meaning that they mostly come out at night. A few species are also endangered, where there are so few of them left in the world that they are close to becoming extinct when there would be none left. Shenandoah salamanders, tiny salamanders native to this area, are shy, nocturnal, and endangered, making them very rare to find. They are also an endemic species. An endemic species is only found in a certain place and nowhere else in the world. Since these salamanders are only found here in Shenandoah National Park, they have a very small place to call home. Speaking of small, adult Shenandoah salamanders are only about three inches long when fully grown. They may either have a red or yellow stripe down their back or no stripe at all. In fact, they look a lot like red-backed salamanders, which also live nearby, except that red-backed salamanders have a salt and pepper belly and a whiter stripe on their back. Shenandoah salamanders are amphibians, like frogs, toads, newts, and other salamanders. Amphibians are vertebrates, meaning they have a backbone, that need to live in moist places to survive. But unlike many amphibians that spend at least part of their lives in streams or lakes, Shenandoah salamanders are fully terrestrial. This means that they live their entire life on land. Since they don't live underwater, you're probably thinking that they breathe through their mouths, just like you and me. But Shenandoah salamanders are actually a part of a family known as lungless salamanders. So, if they don't have lungs, but spend all their time on land, how do they survive? By breathing through their skin. This is an amazing adaptation, but please, don't try it at home. Trust us. While they might not use their mouths to breathe, they definitely use them to eat. You might not think that they're fierce predators, but Shenandoah salamanders are actually carnivores. That's right, they only eat meat. But what can an animal with a mouth as big as your pinky nail eat? These salamanders will happily eat almost anything that they can fit in their mouths. Beetles, flies, and mites are all on the menu. Yum. They search for these meals on three of the highest mountain peaks in Shenandoah National Park, the only places in the world that they're found. On these peaks, they live under rocky slopes where it is moist and cool. These conditions are important in helping them to breathe through their skin. If they didn't have protection from the dry, hot sun above, they wouldn't be able to survive. Unfortunately, Climate change is making the world a warmer place, which could be dangerous for these special salamanders. Although tiny in size, the role they play here is big, making them important to Shenandoah National Park and everything in it. 